welcome back to Friday Favorites Fooies. So I've got some really good things I want to tell you about this week. Um, I've got uh, one fooey, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right on in and try to make this short, as I always say. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start with what is on my nails and what I've been loving for my nails this week. Um, I was wearing that white polish from my last Friday Favorites up until like the beginning of the week or so, and then I took it off and just let my nails breathe. So a favorite for this week is no nail polish. But then also yesterday I applied this polish, which is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color in Teal Slowly and C. Okay. And it's just really pretty. It's a bright blue and I just, I love it. It's um, 99 cents. Hello. And I like the brush. It's, it's a thin brush, but not like, I like thin brushes that will flatten out. I don't know if that makes sense. Like they start out skinny, but then when you press them, they flatten. And sometimes the wide brushes, the wide bristle brushes, I don't like them because they just, they go everywhere. Whereas this is a little bit easier for me to control. So yeah, like I said, this was 99 cents. It's part of the Wet n Wild Pop Art Craze collection. And I found the nail polishes pretty recently at our Walgreens. So um, keep your eyes peeled. You may still be able to find these. I got this one and the green color, which I haven't worn yet, but love this. Hey, 99 cents, yes. Okay, next is the Jordana Blush in Sweet Honey. Yeah, Sweet Honey. And I think that's kind of a deceptive name for this one because it's really less like, I think of honey as like sort of a neutrally kind of, I don't know, almost like tart exposed, except maybe a little bit more coral. That's what I would picture in my mind. But this is definitely more of a bright coral. Um, yeah, but I, I still wore it with some pretty like loud eye looks like I'm wearing today. I am wearing this, but mixed with something else. So I really like this br brush. Brush, I really like this brush on my cheeks. No, I really like this blush. Um, the Jordana blushes are 250, like 249 or something. And I have a whole uh, video where I did a haul from Jordana. Um, on a ton of blushes, swatched them, all kinds of stuff. And then I had another haul with some of their more recent new products. So I'll link both of those, link both of those in the down bar for you guys. So I think these are awesome blushes. I mean, they don't, and I've mentioned this before, they don't blend the best. They're not the best blending blushes. Not the best blending blushes. That's a tongue twister. But um, they're 250. So you can make them work and then you can have a lot of different variety of blush colors in your collection. So I really love these. I think they're a great quality for 250. And yeah, check out my um, videos to see swatches on all those things. So yeah, that's a, definitely a favorite blush for this week. Okay, on to lips. Okay, I've got this e.l.f. matte lip color in coral. Okay, earlier I filmed this already and the, quali the coloring was bad, so I had to redo it. Let me show you what it did. I took it out earlier <laughs> and it was like this. So, use this with caution um, because this sucker just like comes right on out. I don't know if that's all of them or just mine, but it was $3, so you know. But it's just a really nice neutrally coral color and it's matte so that's fun kind of different um they wear well they weren't drying they're like creamy and matte so these are really nice quality for three dollars and i found this at one of the walmarts in our area the other ones i didn't see them carrying elf but this one walmart i was in had like a little tourney dealy like new so that was exciting um and they had products that are target doesn't have like they had some baked blushes and um like one that I I should have included that I'll use it again and maybe include it next week but like a lighter color blush that almost could be used as a highlighter and um, they had this um and like pencil cream pencil eyeshadow pencil 
there you go. So yeah, I was excited to find that there. Um, now our Target does carry the e.l.f. matte lip colors, but not in this color. And this is, like I said, in coral. So I really like that. $3. Yes. And then I've also been loving the MAC lipstick in Fabby. It's like a... It's a neutral. It's like a nude. Except it's got something different to it. Like a like a peachy gold sheen or something to it. So um, I am wearing it now. Can I hide on it? Yeah, there we go. Can I hide on it? Mm-hmm. I like it. It's just got something different to it. I think this is a great fall neutral. I know we're not in fall. It's still crazy hot in Texas. But I wanted to wear it with some crazy eye looks. So that's what I grabbed today. I really enjoy it. Even in the tube, you can kind of see the sheen to it. So I think it's fun and different. Mac Fabby. Love the way that they smell. Yummy. Yeah. So love that. Okay. And now my favorite of the favorites. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know this. On Instagram, I post like face of the day, eye of the day, whatever. I try to do them every day, but I work, so sometimes it can be a little hard to take pictures before I go to work. So anyway, I try to do that for y'all. But if you follow me there, you probably already know this because I've worn this the majority of the week. Oh yeah, the Too Faced Pretty Rebel Palette. It's so pretty. I mean, it's not just flat cardboard. It's like three dimensional. Like the ribbon is like, well, like, Fakey plasticky ribbon, but it's not flat. It's three dimensional, so it has a little something special. And I love the name, love the pink writing, adorable. So the way that I came about buying this palette is I'd gotten my little Ulta, trying to get you hooked, little thing in the mail, the little insert or magazine or whatever it is, and they had the Anastasia Catwalk palette, and it was like twenty nine dollars. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go look. That. that looks pretty because I've seen some people using that on Instagram so I went in there and I'm looking and I'm going man those are some dinky tiny little shadows I mean they're like little and so I was looking and the total weight of that palette of all the eyeshadows is one point I believe 1.86 grams grams yes correct me if I'm wrong but I've double checked it and I've looked online Again, at like blogs, and people have mentioned this. I think like some of the mattes are around one gram, and then the shimmers are 0.86 or something like that, or vice versa. Anyway, long story short, you don't get a lot for your money with that. So I'd seen this palette, I'd looked at it, and I was like, oh, I don't need that. You know, it's it's pricey. Well, I went over and looked at it after looking at the Anastasia, and this one is 15 grams total. Each of the shadows are 1.5 grams, almost the size of the whole stinking palette. The whole stinking palette of the catwalk. You know what I mean? 1.5 for each one. Now, am I going to ever use up this palette? No, probably not. But still, you want to get your bang for your buck. You know what I mean? Like it just something about that bugged me. I was like, that is too big of a difference. Now this is $46. I know, but I was like 29 for that little value or 46 for so much more for your money. So I went with this one and I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. My battery died. So if I move slightly, that's why, but anyway, so that's why I went with this one. It was just such a better value and I'd been looking at it. I mean, the colors are just stinking beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. And at first when I looked at this, I thought, what a weird mix of colors. Like it just seemed like how many looks can you really get from this palette? But after playing with it, you can get so many. And really this is, this is like the Urban Decay Vice palette or ones like that where I just, I really love them where you've got options, where it's not just all neutrals. It's got some fun punchy colors thrown in there. I love that because you've got this little whole like neutral quadrant over here. So you can totally still get your neutral eye. And then there's some earthy kind of a colors, kind of a colors, earthy kind of colors right here that you can make a really pretty look. Um, this one is stinking amazing. It's called Girly. Reminds me of Mac's uh, blue brown pigment. 
except it's more green. Hang on, dropped my thing. My chair is so loud. <laughs> it's like blue-brown pigment, except it's more green to it. I love it. It's so fun and unique. And then this gold is beautiful. I barely touched that because I don't want to waste them, even though they're huge. You know, I'm never going to use them up. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, and then there's this one that's girly. No, that's not girly. Totally fetch. Love it. Mean Girls reference. So cute. This one is amazing. It's not just a hot pink. At first look, I thought, okay, hot pink. Okay, yeah. But no, it's got like a duochrome, like a purple duochrome to it. It's beautiful. So today I am wearing it. I've got on uh, Charming, this nice cool tone brown, mixed, ooh, mixed, ooh, mixed. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Charming, well, mixed with Totally Fetch. So it makes kind of like a burgundy sort of a color. And then in the middle of my lid, I have Instigator. Love that. And then earlier this week, I wore Bad A with Jailbird <laughs> as a look. So you can look on my Instagram to see what that looked like. Loved that look. Um, yeah, and then I've also worn Girly another day mixed with Instigator. And then I'm planning on doing some other stuff. So anyway, I have a blog. I don't know if anybody knows that, but I, I have a blog. Yeah. And I don't update it a ton, but I try to update it fairly often. And I put this on there. So I've got swatches of everything. Um, I showed one of my looks that I did with it, the very first look that I did. I just, I love this palette. I'm so glad I bought it. Um, you know, eyeshadow palettes are one of those things with me. I get more excited about an eyeshadow palette than probably any other item of makeup. Even if I don't need it, which I know 100% I do not. But do I get joy out of it and do I enjoy it? Do I enjoy it? Joy, joy, blah, blah, blah. Do I enjoy the palette? Yes. I mean, I, I literally wake up going, yay, I can't wait to like play with new colors. And it's just fun. I feel like it's just a whole new like creative outlet, like another, um, another tool for like, being creative. I don't know how to say that. You know what I mean. I love it. I think it's awesome. It's a great value. These are super pigmented and beautiful, wonderful quality. I highly recommend this palette. And I'm planning on doing a like first impressions video and um, a tutorial, at least a tutorial. I have so many ideas for videos. And there's just not enough time in the day. I gotta be honest. Like there's always videos I want to do for you guys and I just don't have enough time. I just noticed there's a funny little, a little thin friend over there. <laughs> it's been with us the whole time, I guess. Anyway, um, totally off topic. That totally distracted me. But I love this palette. I think it's awesome. It's by far my favorite of the week. I think it's amazing. And is it expensive? Yes. But it's wonderful quality. I think it's a lot of fun. And I would recommend it. So, on to my fooey quickly. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. I've used this before and it's drying out, but that's not the issue. Um, it went everywhere. I don't know if my eyes were behaving better the last few times I've worn it, because I don't remember it doing this, but it was the only thing I was wearing that day, so it had to be this. My eye just constantly, this eye, not always this one, just this one, will have like a constant little watering area pool over here. Yeah. And this was like taking a walk down my eyeball area. Just going everywhere. And every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, dang it. I'd have to walk, walk, good grief. <sighs> I'm having trouble. I'd have to wipe it off again. Oh, look again. Oh, there it is. Wipe it off again. It just, it goes everywhere. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but normally I wear my Jordana Fappy Liner and I set it with a black shadow, and I don't have that same problem with that. I mean, obviously, if it's like profusely, if I'm crying, it's gonna go everywhere, but just my regular annoying watery eye, it handles it okay. Whereas this thing, no go. Fooey, fooey. So yeah, those were all of my Friday favorites and fooeys for this week. I hope that this was a fun video for you to watch. Please thumbs it up if you enjoy my Friday favorites and if you liked this video. Um, let me know, do you have this palette? Do you love it? What kind of looks do you wear it with? I, I, I'd love to hear. What kind of looks do you wear it with? What kind of looks do you wear from it and using it? I'd love to hear your feedback. 
Um, yeah, but I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I have lots of Friday favorites, tutorials, reviews, um, hauls, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I'd, I'd love to have you to my channel. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Bye!